These are the kind of videos that I absolutely love doing, especially when I have this many choices for all of you. So stick around. We got a subscriber's choice coming up next. YouTube fragrance family, welcome to my July fragrance haul and subscribers choice. This is where you make your vote count in the comments below. One vote per YouTube account where you say you decide which one of these fragrances you want me to review first. I will do a first impression on skin. So I'm going to wear one of these fragrances all day and kind of give you guys a pop the cherry video. And then, of course, it goes into the vault for full-fledged review. Um, so, when you vote, let's say for Abbey Rouge Lo, and this one gets the most votes, to this one right here that gets the least amount of votes, there's going to be a, a huge uh, gap between these ones. So, your vote does count. Um, so, as usual, I love to hear what your basis is behind your vote. Now... You only get to choose from one fragrance house, unfortunately, today. One of the best fragrance houses in the game, arguably. But uh, I think uh, we can't argue that it has so much history. And I absolutely love having hauls from a brand like this. Um, there's so much to discover over the years. I still haven't even scratched the surface with the House of Getaway. Um, so this is me just kind of splurging all over the base in their men's lineup, women's lineup, their high-end lineup. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I want to try them all from the House of Galilee. So first and foremost, before I get into anything, I, I want to thank my partner in crime, FragranceX.com, for this haul of fragrances. You can utilize my channel name, Robes08, on their site. And it's a coupon code. You receive 15% off. Um, as little or as much as you'd like to buy. So I uh, thank you so much to Fragrance X. I couldn't do this uh, without them. So thank you so much. And thank you to all of you that do utilize that Robes08 coupon code. I certainly appreciate it. So uh, if you haven't seen one of these before, again, it's a subscriber's choice. So you just comment below and pick which one you want me to review first. Um, I do have a video before I shoot these kind of videos. I unbox these fragrances and I have a piece of paper and I kind of tell you guys my thoughts off a piece of paper. Now that's not the whole story. I love wearing them on skin first and give you a first impression. That gives you more of a story on the particular fragrance. So if you haven't seen that unboxing video where I unboxed all these and gave my thoughts on a piece of paper, I'll post a link down below so you can check that out and see my initial thoughts on these, but keep it tuned in on my channel. It's a good thing to subscribe. Uh, to see my thoughts on these once I start wearing them on skin because it could be a totally different idea. That has happened to me before. And the more you wear them, the more you get accustomed with the fragrance. Sometimes you like them more, less, and sometimes you're bang on with your first impression. Um, so this video right here is real easy. You see them all. If you've seen that unboxing video, you already know what I unboxed, but this is me just running them down real quick and letting you guys know what you're voting on. So first and foremost, we'll start with this one, Abbey Rouge Low. Um, this is a flanker to their classic Abbey Rouge. Uh, don't sue me. I still don't own a bottle of the original Eau de Toilette Abbey Rouge. Yes, I do not have the Eau de Parfum and I have this one right here now, Low, uh, the Eau de Toilette. So I can't wait to actually work with this one because I absolutely love the Abbey Rouge DNA. Even though I don't own the Eau de Toilette, it will come. <laughs> Next is from the Lidge family, L'Instant de Guerlain pour Homme. This is the Eau de Toilette. So I own, uh, of course, uh, the extreme version with the old school bottle that everybody absolutely loves. But this one, I really wanted to see what the Eau de Toilette did. And uh, actually, it's still the same type of quality, brighten up a little bit, and I can't wait to delve more into this one. So if you want to hear about this one, first, you know what to do in the comments below. Next, couple of Aqua Allegorias. Um, this is probably one of my favorite lineups from Getaway. Uh, first of all, because of price availability, um, I know they release them every year and they release usually one a year, but they're releasing more and more every year now, which is awesome because I love the line. 
Um, but um, very uh, fragrances that I don't have to think too much when I'm blind buying them. Whatever it says in the name, I kind of know what I'm going to expect from this fragrance. I'm not, you know, thinking sky high that this is going to be one of my favorite fragrances, but I know they're geared for spring and summer for me. I can wear them daily use and they're very sparkling. Um, usually they use a lot of citruses. They use uh, a lot of florals. Um, but they do them in a way that they're very transparent, watery, and easy to wear. Um, this one right here, just adding to that collection, this is Tizura right here with the blue juice. Very interesting scent. Um, this one right beside it is Limon Verde, uh, more of a green fragrance. So if you want to hear more about that one, you know what to do in the comments below. Um, next is, of course, the Big Boys Club right here. This is the Pricey Suckers. Um, in the old school bottles, I'm so happy I got my hands on these. I know that the, this one right here, I think it's sold out on Fragrance X already. It, it sold like crazy. Once I posted my video, it was nuts. Um, people were buying this stuff like crazy. Um, but this one right here is Songe. I believe this is Songe. Yeah, Songe d'Arbo de Tea. Um, I would say is the star of this haul. Uh, that's what I said when I unboxed them. Um, again, it's different on skin, but I don't think that's gonna change. Um, and of course, this one right here, Rose Nacre du Desire. Um, excellent, excellent fragrance from what I've been testing recently from my bottle. So a full Guerlain haul. I'm uh, excited to see what you guys think in the comments below. What are you gonna vote for? Who's gonna get the most votes here? Um, if I had to put my money on it, I don't even know. I'm, I'm assuming Songe is going to win. True fragheads know what I'm talking about. They're going to vote for this one. Um, but this may be a dark horse, the Rose, because there's not much on the internet. Even these, there's not much on the internet on these on YouTube. So I can't wait to see what you guys say in the comments below. So I'm going to keep a, a good eye on the comments below. And uh, that's it, that's my haul. Just wanted to let you guys know about them uh, before you start voting. Um, so now it's up to you in the comments below. Uh, first and foremost, before I sign off, I would like to thank all my subscribers out there. Certainly appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber yet, uh, hit that subscribe button. While you're doing that, hit the bell so you don't miss anything uh, from my channel. I'm gonna be active again on this channel. And anybody that knows this channel is that I got a lot of content in my back pocket. That's one thing that I don't have to think about is the content is here. Review, 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 review. I got lots, I got tons in my fragrance room that I need to review. I got hundreds of fragrances to review. So content is not my enemy, time is. Um, so subscribe, I certainly appreciate that. Hit the bell if you can, or if you want to see more of this mug, obviously. Hey, hit like if you can too. I certainly appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.